Ginsburg. Uh, one and a half. Yeah, they're just going to give him a yard there. Jack Hopkins with the carry. Brings up second down and nine. Clock is at 451. Jackson's had it twice this half, right? Two possessions? Two, two possessions. Yeah. yeah. According to the statistician. You're not and, wrong on that. And we're you? almost at halftime. No. He says he's not wrong. No? No. He got it. Yep. So here is Boron again. Oh, and a great play by big number 79. There he is again, Colton Arnold. But in the backfield, bringing him down. That's number 79, Colton Arnold. Yeah, it did look like a, almost like a face mask, but I think he got his shirt. Colton Arnold with a big play. Here, take a look at it, coach. Bring up third down and 11. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Yeah. He grabbed something. <laughs> he turned around think, quickly. I think it was his shirt. <laughs> yeah. So third down and 11. Talkington, plenty of time, good protection, throws oh. it to his safety valve. That's Boron. Breaks the tackle, gets it inside the 35. Did he fumble? The, no, no. They say he was down. And guess what? Another fourth down. This time it's a little longer. Oh. Fourth and about seven. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'd say about fourth and seven when you take a look at it. Huh. So the Crusaders now, again, though, they have taken so much time off the there's, clock. There's no use to let the clock run down to three minutes of call time. Already. Great play on the field. Events prior to the game, but after tonight, we do have calling a deep, deep ball here, boys. Are you? All right, D. Coach talk. He's talked to Talkington before. He might know something down there. Hey, let's take a timeout. There's a timeout on the field. 2.59 to go in this one in the first half. Central 7, Jackson nothing. We'll be back. At Alt Care, we care about your well being and the importance of being well. You deserve access to the best in healthcare. With over 16,000 providers in network, AltCare makes it easy for you to find a local provider you can trust. Our services are focused entirely on you. AltCare's team of local physicians, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, and more are available to help you navigate the healthcare system to receive the quality care you deserve. We take your healthcare personally because you matter. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop into one of our locations today and become a friend of the family. The Pro Football Hall of Fame is the ultimate football fan destination. The Vince Lombardi Super Bowl trophy. The only place in America to see every Super Bowl ring your chance to see. All 362 bronze busts. There is so much more, including a holographic Disney-like theater, the Game for Life, and just 45 minutes south of Cleveland. Purchase your tickets online now. Back here at Jackson, Robert Fife Stadium, Frank Salona, along with former Jackson coach Elmer Sheets, Derek Philo down on the sidelines, our sideline reporter, and Bob Jeffries, our statistician extraordinaire up here in the booth with us. Also an announcement from Mrs. Monaghan, our band director. We are rattling four tickets. The Crusaders, another long drive. When we say long, we mean possession and yards here. They have taken a lot of time off the clock. Talkington, this has been a seven minute drive so far. Talkington looking, looking. Go the other way. Plenty of time. Can he outrun that defensive end? He does. And I don't know. Let's see. He oh, got it. He, he got the first down at the 25 yard line. My goodness, what a play there by Jack Talkington. This one is another nominee for our friends and family credit union rock solid play. 
Coach, look at the time he has here. I'll tell you what, Central has been doing a great job pass blocking this entire first half. And he just does a great job here. Outran the defensive end, got it to the 20, yeah, almost 20. They said 25, okay. Boy, they score here, it's whew, interesting. First and 10, clock at 245. There is Talkington again, going to keep it himself. Talkington in the shotgun. And the gets it inside the 25. It's about the 22 right yard line. So defense. give him about three NCAA yards. Number 55 at Jaden Mauser. Mauser on the stop three yards on for the seven. Polar Bears. Colton in there as well. Yard line. Colton Arnold, that is. So. They say that Central's taking the air out of the ball. Oh, boy, they, they sure they? are. What an incredible game plan that Coach Linda Smith and his staff have come up with here thus far in the first half. There's a pass left side. Nice swing pass to Talkington Anderson. Keep the bounds, keep the clock going. Oh, that was Boron, I'm sorry. My apologies, Danny Boron with the catch. Must have been out of bounds to stop the clock. Yeah. Third and five. Mm -hmm. Yep. Two down territory. I want to mention too, uh, prior to tonight's ball game at the coin flip, the family of Jim Denke and Phil Bynum were out there for the coin flip. Both Jim and Phil passed away recently and they honored both families having them out there for the coin flip. There is a run by Talkington, gets it inside the 20, but uh, continuing with that thought, Coach, uh, you know, both Jim and, and Bill were sideliners, had a lot to do with Jackson football over the years. Uh, Jim Denke, a former uh, official, and uh, so our uh, thoughts and prayers to the families. Uh, great honor for them. I know tonight. both men, and I know Phil Byam very, very well. Yeah. He was a great man, a great family, um, can't say enough about Phil Byam. When I first got here, uh, he welcomed me with open arms. And uh, even after I left, <laughs> he still, you know, he was a very, very good friend. Yeah, nice ceremony there uh, at the coin flip before tonight's ball game. Timeout on the field. We will take it with them, as you see there on our CKP scoreboard. It is 7 nothing Central. We'll be back. Around here, we like to cheer for the local team, and MCTV is here to connect you to the game. MCTV provides reliable high-speed internet and Wi-Fi. From checking scores online, to streaming games or watching replays, or even playing the game yourself, we've got the speed you need. Call today to add or upgrade internet service. We're connecting what matters most. MCTV, we go the extra smile. CKP Heating and Cooling is the go-to name for heating, cooling, and more. Local owners Chaz and Ty want to thank the community for their business and support. For heating, cooling, refrigeration, boiler work, sheet metal, custom fabrication, and more, go with CKP. Call 330-791-3029 or visit them online at ckphvac.com. Sarda has two new ways to pay. With the tap to pay cards, reload and use the Sarda scorecard over and over. It's secure, convenient, orderly, reloadable, and economical. Perfect for frequent riders. Or choose the temporary, limited use Sarda touchdown card. It's better for occasional riders. They're the two most modern ways to tap your way to everywhere. And they're both from Sarda. Got authentic barbecue on your mind this fall? Then head to Old Carolina Barbecue because we are the official barbecue of football. Old Carolina is Q done right. Starting with meats cooked low and slow all night on site, hand pulled to order. There's also competition quality ribs, five distinct Carolina influence sauces, scratch made sides like creamy mac and cheese, and the world's greatest baked beans. It isn't football season without barbecue. So visit oldcarolina.com to order online. We'll be waiting for you. 109 to go here in the first half, and Central Catholic has the football. Another fourth down. 
This time, fourth and four. I don't think it even phases them anymore, Coach. This is a momentum play over. If Central gets us, they're going to have such momentum going into the halftime. And if Jackson stops them, they're going to have some momentum. Yep. This is a big play. Talkington has time again. Look at this. And he's going to throw, and this one's a pick okay. off. That's okay. But that's all right. You're right. It's just like a punt, really. Yeah. And this one is returned back to about the 14-yard line. So Jackson will take over. Take a look at this, though. Again, look at the time. And that one right in your living room right there. What a nice interception there by Garrett Wright as he took it away from you right there in your living room. So the Crusaders... Their drive will stall, and Jackson will have a minute from their own 14-yard line, so they've got to go 86 yards. A lot of pressure on this freshman. See what they do with him now. There's a yeah. handoff to David Day. Old faithful right there. When you need yards, Jason Davide is the guy. We had some fun talking with Jason's dad before the ball game. He told you, coach, about who the best athlete in that family is. It wasn't him. No. Okay. As long Mom, it's Mama Davide. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you understand that. That's right. So another timeout on the field. And I uh, want to remind everybody, don't forget, our halftime Sarda Band and halftime report will be coming up. We'll send it down to Derek Philo. We'll Take us through halftime, and then we'll come back and have some numbers for you, as well as some highlights and discussion about this first half. That Central leads here seven to nothing. And, uh, you know, guys, we we have had a lot of seven nothing, 14-7 first halves, and then it explodes in the second half. So, so don't go away because we never know what's going to happen here. I want to remind everyone also that next. Friday night, we have a good one. Northwest at Canton South is our Friday night game, and then obviously we will be in Maslin on Saturday for Maslin and McKinley, and we'll be tape delayed as well. But uh, boy, we've got some good games coming up, and this one here as well tonight. I believe, did I just hear they're going to do their black light show at halftime? I don't know if I heard that or not, but here is. Eckerman going to be taken down at about the 27 yard line. So brings up a second down now in about eight. Timeout. Jackson. Jackson's going to take their second timeout here of the half. Timeout charge to your poor bears. So polar bears going to talk it over. Hey, what? Well, let's take one with them, guys. What do you say? We'll take a timeout. Timeout down on the field. 43 seconds remain here in the first half. Central by seven. When struggles seem too tough, when sickness takes a hold, when cancer picks a fight, when baby's on its way, when life throws you a curveball, we've got you. With nearly 130 years in your backyard, Altman knows you and knows your community better than anyone. We're your neighbors, your friends, your family, and we want you to be the healthiest you can be. Altman, we are ready. We've got you. Saturday Morning Huddle with Kenny Rhoda, Billy Beebe, and the WHBC sports team. Well, thanks for having us on, and thanks for everything you guys do for high school sports. The coverage you guys do is second to none and Stark County is a special place to be so thank you for everything thanks for doing this on Saturdays it's awesome and catch us live on the WHBC Facebook page the WHBC YouTube channel and WHBC.com WHBC Sports it's more than just the game at Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Gina, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union, where we provide loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. 
Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. All right, back here at Robert Fife Stadium. 43 seconds remain here in the first half. Three wide receivers on the far side. Eckerman going to fake the handoff, going back to throw. The freshman looks, has Davide on the right side, gets it to him. And Davide is pushed out of bounds at around the 30-yard line. Still going to be short of the first down. Hey, the Cleveland Guardians are back in Cleveland for game three of the ALDS against the Yankees. Big win today as they beat the Yankees 4-2. to two. That series is tied at 1-1. One to one. Don't miss a minute of it on 1480 WHBC. What a great game today, guys. I don't know if you had a chance to listen on your way in. Three wide receivers here on the near side. We're going to go one far side, fake handoff. Quick there screen. is a wide receiver screen, and Johnson has nowhere to go. But he gets away and then finally goes out of bounds. But he lost. He fumbled it, didn't he? Let's see here, he lost some yards there. Guys, he fumbled it back. Yeah, to the quarterback. And the quarterback, it. yep, picked oh, it right up. Yeah, okay. Almost, you know, almost kept it uh, for the first down, but it was a little bit short, he went out of bounds. Yeah, he had his back to us. I couldn't see the ball. Yes. There it is, right there. Oh, oh yeah. he laddled it to him. And there you go. And the heads up play there by Lucas Eckerman to just get the ball and go. Uh, they are going to punt it away. Oops. Thank and you. And here is a ball going to roll inside the 30, 25, yeah, into the 22 it. yard line. And that's well, going to even mark and it at the right 21 there. The ball kept rolling. The ball rests at and the 21 yard line. Trunkington will bring his offense to the field. Crusaders will remaining in the half. start this next well, drive. And I, got a, I got a feeling here. Yep. You. Got an injury down on the field, but I got a feeling the Crusaders is going to take a knee here. Let's see if we can check on the uh, injured Crusader down there. Might be a cramp. Yep, he pops right up. Nice job there. Connor Thomas was the young man. He is up and walking off. No serious injury there. In fact, they just Smack him on the top of the head. <laughs> Hope he doesn't have a concussion. Yeah. Player coming off under his own power. That's good to see. So that young man is going to be just fine. Crusaders now with 13 seconds, and I would guess the trucker says, "Take a knee." Yep. Don't just hand it, off, hand it off the headset. Don't do it. You're up. Don't do nothing crazy. Yep. So the Crusaders will snap it, take a knee, and they're going to go in halftime. With a seven to nothing lead here at Jackson. As we end half number one. See there on our CKP heating and cooling scoreboard. Central seven, Jackson nothing. We'll be back for our Sarda band halftime report. Sarda has two new ways to pay. With the tap to pay cards. Reload and use the Sarter scorecard over and over. It's secure, convenient, orderly, reloadable, and economical. Perfect for frequent riders. Or choose the temporary, limited-use Sarter touchdown card. It's better for occasional riders. They're the two most modern ways to tap your way to everywhere. And they're both from Sarta. CKP Heating and Cooling is the go-to name for heating, cooling, and more. Local owners Chaz and Ty want to thank the community for their business and support. For heating, cooling, refrigeration, boiler work, sheet metal, custom fabrication, and more, go with CKP. Call 330-791-3029 or visit them online at ckphvac.com. At Altcare, we care about your well-being and the importance of being well. 
you deserve access to the best in healthcare. With over 16,000 providers in network, AltCare makes it easy for you to find a local provider you can trust. Our services are focused entirely on you. AltCare's team of local physicians, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, and more are available to help you navigate the healthcare system to receive the quality care you deserve. We take your healthcare personally because you matter. Down in the Carolinas, you'll find roadside barbecue shacks around every hill and down every back road. Around here, you'll find authentic Carolina barbecue at, where else? Old Carolina barbecue. It's nothing fancy, but it's Q done right. Starting with meats cooked low and slow all night on site, along with scratch made sides and tempting desserts. Old Carolina is a taste of Southern hospitality right in your backyard. Visit oldcarolina.com to order online. We'll be waiting for you. Welcome back to Jackson Township, Robert Fife Stadium. You're going to enjoy this one, folks. The Purple Army from Jackson High School, led by band director Michelle Monagold. The Pro Football Hall of Fame is the ultimate football fan destination. The Vince Lombardi Super Bowl trophy. The only place in America to see every Super Bowl ring. Your chance to see all 362 bronze busts. There is so much more, including a holographic Disney-like theater, the Game for Life, and just 45 minutes south of Cleveland. Purchase your tickets online now. Around here, we like to cheer for the local team, and MCTV is here to connect you to the game. MCTV provides reliable high-speed internet and Wi-Fi. From checking scores online, to streaming games or watching replays, or even playing the game yourself, we've got the speed you need. Call today to add or upgrade internet service. We're connecting what matters most. MCTV, we go the extra smile. 
When struggles seem too tough, when sickness takes a hold, when cancer picks a fight, when baby's on its way, when life throws you a curveball, we've got you. With nearly 130 years in your backyard, Altman knows you and knows your community better than anyone. We're your neighbors, your friends, your family, and we want you to be the healthiest you can be. Altman, we are ready. We've got you. Mix 94.1. The most music and the most fun in the morning. Dave and Jimmy. Weekday morning, 6 till 10. Canton's Mix 94.1. And welcome back here to Robert Fife Stadium. Halftime continues here on our Sarda Band and Halftime Report. Frank Salona, Elmer Sheets up here in the booth. Derek Philo down on the sideline. Bob Jeffries is our stat guy as we look at the scoreboard there. CKP heating and cooling. It's 7-0 Central Catholic. And, well, we don't have a whole lot of numbers, but what we have is, I guess, impressive. <laughs> Leaning on the Central side as uh, Elmer takes a look at those. All right, halftime stats, Central, 132 yards rushing, Jackson 40. Passing, Central 40, Jackson only six. First downs, this is amazing. Central 13, Jackson three. Total yards, 172 for Central, 46 for Jackson. Uh, Central had one turnover in penalties. Central had two for five yards, Jackson had one for five yards. And Frank, here's... Uh, statistic Eight, that's really amazing. One, mm -hmm. 17 nine, minutes and 39 nine, seven, seconds time of possession seven, for Central and yeah. six minutes and 21 eight, one, seconds nine, wow. seven, for Saint, uh, for Jackson. Uh. Individually speaking, for the, the visiting team, uh, Central Catholic, Jack Talkington was five for nine for 40 yards and one interception. Uh, rushing, uh, Daniel Boron had eight rushes for 59 yards and Jack Talkington had 12 rushes for 51 yards in one TD. Uh, receiving, Andrew Neal had one catch for 23 yards. For Jackson, uh, Lucas Eckman had, was four for four for six yards. And Jason David had six rushes for 30 yards. And that's it. All right. Well, and it all leans towards a 7 nothing Central Catholic lead here at halftime. Let's take a look at some highlights from that first half. And... Uh, Boy, when you've got a quarterback like this young man, a four-yard touchdown run, here is Jack Talkington taking it into the end zone, giving Central their first and only score in the first half as Talkington takes it in. And then this one is a huge fourth down run. Look at Talkington and the time he has, and then he just outran the defensive end there to pick up the first down for the Crusaders. But he is human, believe it or not. Here is his one pass that was intercepted there right before the end of the half. A interception by the Jackson Polar Bears. Garrett Wright with the pick there for the Bears. So at halftime, our score 7-0. As we continue on here, our Sarda halftime report. We'll take a timeout. The third quarter is next. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop into one of our locations today and become a friend of the family. Get your day started with Pam Cook. She's like your own personal smartphone, and she's fully charged. The news of the day, every day, on Canton's Morning News with Pam Cook, 1480 WHBC. It's Kenny and JT. Can you lose one game and still play for a national championship? Yes. Can no, no not necessarily. Season. You cannot lose a game in your division of the Big Ten. He's got an opinion, and he has got an opinion. The Kenny and JT Show, weekdays between 3 and 7 on WHBC. Got authentic barbecue on your mind this fall? Then head to Old Carolina Barbecue because we are the official barbecue of football. Old Carolina is Q done right. Starting with meats cooked low and slow all night on site. Hand pulled to order. There's also competition quality ribs. Five distinct Carolina influenced sauces. Scratch made sides like creamy mac and cheese. And the world's greatest baked beans. It isn't football season without barbecue. So visit oldcarolina.com to order online. We'll be waiting for you. 
And welcome back here to Robert Fife as we get ready to start the third quarter of play. Both teams down on the field getting ready to come out. And while we have a minute, guys, each week we have been doing our three top three. And that's when Coach and uh, Derek and I uh, give us, give you our top three teams in Stark County. And this week I went with Maslin, McKinley, and Lake. And uh, Elmer, you went Maslin, Lake, and Northwest. I did. Threw in the uh, Indians there. And uh, we'll let you talk about that. And Derek has Maslin, McKinley, and Lake, just like I do. And Coach, uh, I, give I, us what I reasoning did. there. I went to the computer ratings, uh -huh. and they were the three highest teams in Stark County. There you go. Okay. And that was my pick. And I'm right again. You guys are wrong. <laughs> well, so I, I just want to prove my point. That's right. Maslin is, uh, is idle this week, and uh, McKinley is winning, uh, and Lake and Northwest both winning as well so um i think i don't think you can go wrong with any of those three no. or four teams four, there yeah. so uh that is our three top three as we'll give you that each week and derek uh any uh any reasoning behind your top three well i'm sure the same as you you know you, get, you got Maslin who uh obviously playing very well you know mckinley i kind of got on board with you a little bit there frank I'm not trying to make your head any bigger <laughs> but uh you know, with, with them starting out the way they have and then lately just been rolling, uh, they're, they've been fun to watch. And then, you know, we've had Lake a couple times, and Lake's a heck of a ball club. Yeah, they certainly are. And, uh, boy, I tell you what, the injury bug has really hurt them this year, but they have played through it, and they look very good. Last week against Hoover, we had them. And uh, this week uh, they are playing the Perry Panthers, and we uh, wish them well as well of all the other teams in Stark County as we get ready for tournament play here in a couple weeks. Here's our Marathon Petroleum kickoff to start the second half of play or not. We've got a flag and we're coming back. So rewind and we'll do this again. But our kickoffs are brought to you by Marathon Canton Refinery. I want to thank the fine folks from Marathon. I think Sean Atkins uh, from Marathon, I saw him. I believe he is here tonight. One of the... Uh, folks that work over at Marathon. So we want to thank them for their support this year as well. So they will move the Crusaders back five yards for the offsides and Grady Angerman will kick it again. Angerman again has it teed up as he'll get our second half underway. Last one was kind of a dribbler coach. I yep. think this one might be the same way. They don't kick it very deep. So they kind of... It was almost like a Charlie Brown kick there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the Rutgers did or whoever it was a couple weeks ago against Ohio State. And now what? Are you kidding me? And again, prior to the Another ball, whistle. Come on. This fish was... Hey, come on. Yeah, just let him play. Let him play. Jeez, oh, man. <laughs> so, on the kicking team. So... Five-yard penalty. They'll kick it again from the 30 this time. So we have 10 yards in penalties. Ball goes back to the 30 yard line. I mean, if, uh, Coach, if your head or arm is across the line, does it make much of a difference? No. <laughs> At this point. Come on. So let's. Uh, Let's do it again. Marathon. Boy, you're getting some air time tonight, folks. Our Marathon Petroleum kickoff. And let's try. Third time is a charm. This one taken at the 27-yard line. Davide has running room to the 40 and brought down at the 42-yard line. And that's where Jackson will start this drive. Well, they got good field position right off. Those two penalties are not very good for Central no. right now. But hey, we got a whole half to go here. Did not help at all, you're right. So, Crusaders on defense to start this half. The Bears will come out on offense. And they will have Lucas Eckerman, their quarterback. The freshman will turn, hand it off, Davide. 
Hit at the 40, but he moves forward, gets out to the 43-yard line. Picked up about seven on that. Yeah, he did. So a nice gain on first down by Jason Davide. Brings up a second down and four. They're going to give him six on the carry. Six yards on the play, second down and four. Johnson in motion now. Hand off, Davide again has running room. And Davide, and Davide takes it to the 42 yard line of Central. First down for the Bears. You know, that's what Jackson has to do here. They have to run between the tackles, give the ball to Davide. They're bigger up front offensively than, than Central. Use what you have. <laughs> yeah. Use what you have. Yeah, it looks like right now they are going to try to set up that running game for the Bears. And Jason Davide is a big part of that as he gets the handoff again, bounces it outside, and got inside the 40 to about the 37, 38 yard line. Do Jackson, don't change a thing. Let's take a look at don't this replay here, thing. Coach. Bounces it out right yeah. there. Breaks the tackle there. Yep. And yeah, host the pursuit. tacklers, yeah. Anderson, Buckler, everyone was there for the Crusaders. Sometimes as coaches, we make this game too complex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost a big snap. And that one is going to go to Johnson and Luke Johnson with some running room. A bit of a high snap, snap, but Eckerman brings it down. So Luke Johnson picks up another first down. We've Somebody's got an injury down. in the backfield there, back at the 37, 38 yard line. It could be Kyle Benson, I believe. Yep, Kyle Benson for the Bears. I'm going to look at his left leg there. Don't know if it's a cramp the way he's responding there. Here's the replay. And Luke Johnson, first down and more. And the officials calling a timeout. Timeout down on the field. Let's go down to the field. And our sideline guide, Derek Philo, brought to you by Chibo's Restaurant in Waynesburg. Derek. I think we're seeing what Jackson was talking about at halftime. Had to be, you know, give your guy the ball, Davide, and see what they can do. You know, you be the aggressor instead of, you know, in the first half of, of taking it. Yeah, vice versa. You're right. And uh, they do uh, hear Coach start the second half of kind of establishing that run. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, he's a big, strong kid, and, you know. And they're and they're just bigger up front than center. Run between the tackles. Run right at them. Well, they have it. First and ten. The ball is at the 13-yard line. This has been the best drive of the night for Jackson. Ackerman with Davide behind him. Hands it off. Nothing fancy. Again, between the tackles, Davide. Has some running room, gets it inside the 10 to about the eight yard line. So give him another five yards. Bring it up a second down and five. Davide by number 22, Daniel Boron. Boron on the stop for the Crusaders. Boy, wide splits there, coach, between those linemen. There is a handoff, Davide got not, hit not at the five. Again, and what's the purpose, Coach, of, of those wide splits like that? Is there any They're reason? trying to get angles on them. Okay. They're trying to get angles on them. And you're, all, and you're also spreading the defense wider. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which makes bigger holes in there. Yeah. You know. But if they're quicker than you and they beat you to the hole, <laughs> yeah. then it's not as good. Then it's not effective, right? <laughs> Third down and one. Here's Davide again. Has some room. Oh. And oh, where is he at? Is he going to make it? No. The body's flying everywhere down there. Take a look here. Davide. They pick up the first down. He broke a tackle. Got it to the about the one yard line. There is a handoff to Davide into the end zone. Touchdown. So a one-yard touchdown run by Jason and Davide, and we are an extra point away from a tie ball game here. 
You know, Franco's two offside on that kickoff wasn't a good way to start no. this game for Central. Certainly not. Gave him too good a field position. Extra point from Garrett Wright is up. And the extra point the extra is point through the uprights. And we are tied with 8.50 to go here in the third quarter. The Polar Bears on their first possession have marched down the field and tied this one up. Timeout on the field. We'll be back after these timeouts. When struggles seem too tough, when sickness takes a hold, when cancer picks a fight, when baby's on its way, when life throws you a curveball, we've got you. With nearly 130 years in your backyard, Altman knows you and knows your community better than anyone. We're your neighbors, your friends, your family, and we want you to be the healthiest you can be. Altman, we are ready. We've got you. CKP Heating and Cooling is the go-to name for heating, cooling, and more. Local owners Chaz and Ty want to thank the community for their business and support. For heating, cooling, refrigeration, boiler work, sheet metal, custom fabrication, and more, go with CKP. Call 330-791-3029 or visit them online at ckphvac.com. At AltCare, we care about your well-being and the importance of being well. You deserve access to the best in healthcare. With over 16,000 providers in network, AltCare makes it easy for you to find a local provider you can trust. Our services are focused entirely on you. AltCare's team of local physicians, nurses, dietitians, pharmacists, and more are available to help you navigate the healthcare system to receive the quality care you deserve. We take your healthcare personally because you matter. And welcome back here to Robert Fife Stadium in Jackson Township, along with Coach Elmer Sheets, sideline reporter Derek Philo, our statistician Bob Jeffries. I'm Frank Salona. Glad you're with us tonight on a beautiful night for football here in Stark County. There is a kickoff by the Bears. It's going to be taken at about the two-yard line by Daniel Boron. Gets it to the 20, 25, 30. Has running room, 40, and pushed out of bounds at the 42 yard line. And just like that coach, they're the in a good Crusaders, field position. <laughs> they've answered it. They are in good field position as well. And they will start in pretty good field position at around their 44 yard line is where they're gonna mark it officially. And you have a, a recap of that Jackson scoring drive. Uh, number of plays was eight, time of possession, three minutes and 10 seconds total of 58 yards and it was a one yard TD run by Davide extra point good all tied up 7-7 there is a swing pass to Hopkins and Hopkins up pushed out of bounds at around the 40 oh we've got a late flag Luke Johnson coming in a little late there going to pick up the penalty is it a penalty or is there a penalty on central I think you got Johnson for coming in late there. Yeah, guys, it looked like a late hit. Hey, after that time or after that touchdown, oh, it, getting a little chippy down here, guys. Is coach? That the coach from Central was. Well, we've got. Uh, uh, I thought it was against Central. Yeah, it is against Central, and you've got the we've got the Central coaching staff to our right, and they are expressing their displeasure with it. We can't air what they're saying, but certainly is not happy about it. And that one is going to go back to the 33 yard line. What did they call there? I don't have an slightest <laughs> idea. Derek, uh, any idea what the call was? Never saw it. Personal any. foul For after what? the play. I don't I don't know who it was on. Okay. Never saw the call. And we saw it was right in front of us here going out of bounds. I thought uh, maybe uh, it was a late hit, but going to go against the Crusaders. That doesn't help. Hopkins in motion. This is Talkington, gonna keep it himself, breaking a couple tackles. And he's out to the 34 yard line. That was